Hi, my name is Pete Williams from Element Drum Tuition and welcome to the Drum Gym. Now in today's video lesson, I'm going to show you a cool coordination challenge idea I've been working on and it's something that came to my, uh, came to my mind a little while ago and I didn't really follow it through but then I started looking into it deeper and, and sort of working out how it was going to come together and it's quite a nice rolling pattern so the, the foot pattern is based on, a, on a, a figure that recurs every 5 16th note so you're kind of playing one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So every five sixteenth notes that repeats. And the hand pattern is based on um, a figure of three, which is just right, left, right. So that repeats over sixteenth notes. Right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right. So that's basically a shuffle hand pattern, but you've got to feel it over sixteenths and not triplets, okay? So you saw the whole thing at the start of the video. I'm just going to go uh, through a few ideas that will probably help you develop towards this. So I, I think this is a fairly advanced idea. So I think the first thing you should be able to do is play a half-time shuffle with uh, all the grace notes. So that's the first thing we do. So let's have a look at that first. Okay, so once we've got that shuffle pattern down, we need to start to feel that over 16th note. So I want us to feel it over 16th notes in 6-4. So I'm going to just tap it out now, and, uh, and I'm going to count in 16th up, up to beat 6. So you're going to get 1 e yander, 2 e yander, 3 e yander, 4 e yander, 5 e yander, 6 e yander, and then it's going to start again on 1. So the hand pattern is in 6-4, so the first thing you need to try is to play that right, left, right over 16ths and keep a quarter note pulse on the hi-hat. Let's hear that now. So once you've got the hang of doing that, we need to add a back beat on beats two, beat four, and beat six. So two, four, and six. So you're going to get one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a five e and a six e and a one. So the first back beat will just come on its own. The second back beat will be uh, we are down followed by a tap, and the last back beat will have a grace note in front of it. So it'll be up down. So let's hear that now. So the final thing you're going to want to do is to add a bass drum on one, three and six just to practice that as a full groove. So let's hear that. Okay, so once you've got the hand pattern sorted, let's have a look at what the bass drum's doing. So the bass drum rhythm on its own is quite simple. If you just count up to five, you're playing on one and three. So it's just uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And I guess I'm feeling that in five, four. So uh, if we count 16th notes up to f in, in five, four, and that you're gonna get that phrase repeating four times. You're gonna get, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a five e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a five e and a one. So basically, the whole exercise is just the hand pattern we learnt with that going underneath on the bass drum. So first of all, try that rhythm by itself, and then you're going to need to try that rhythm with quarter notes on the hi hat as well. So you're going to get. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a five e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a five e and a one. So you've got your left foot and your right foot working together, and then it's just a case of marrying the hands together.
Okay, so when you're ready to try the whole thing, you're happy with what the feet are doing, you're happy with what the hands are doing, I strongly suggest going to my blog and getting the notation for the full pattern because it takes five bars of 6-4 to complete, okay? So it's quite a long rolling pattern and the limb combinations come together in lots of different ways. Uh, a, good, a good sort of way to start it would just be trying to do one line of the exercise each time because each line the bass drums are going to interact with the hands in a different way and uh, as I say, the whole pattern's a cyclical thing that will resolve after the, si after the five bars of 6-4. So grab the notation, start working through it slowly. It is quite testing, but I think it's just quite a fun, rewarding thing to do if you can get it. So good luck. And just to finish, I'm just going to play it out a couple of more times. Catch you next time. What? <laughs>